Hey guys, I'm back with a new invention. This is what I call the uh, Variable Pulse Length Binary Transmitter. Basically what it is, is a device that allows you to transmit 8-bit uh, binary data all on a single wire. So I'll just demonstrate it and then I'll talk to you a little bit about how it works. So for uh, the inaugural message, I'm going to transmit 01110010, which is um, binary for a lowercase r. So I'll just go ahead and I will enter the data here out of the console I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit the transmit button we'll go over here to our display board, you can see it's really far away and here we go all of our data is fully transmitted in I don't know, I guess a little under two seconds and a lot of that is display lag also. So I guess I'll, I'll go over here now and I'll just talk a little bit about how it works. So from the input over here, all the I, all the data is stored in RS and OR latches, which I arrange on top of each other to be space efficient. And then what happens is uh, it's going to go through, starting with the bottom actually, and sequentially uh, let the input from each RS and OR latch into this wire right here. But while it's doing, so only the ones will go into this wire, and while it's doing that, it also creates a control pulse on the other end that's just used, that uses a torch instead of, uh, instead of these pistons from the RS and latches here. And then it compares the data from the, um, from the on wire and the control wire to create an on wire and an off wire. And then the, um, the ons are converted into, uh, Oh, they already were. They're uh, three-bit pulses, or four-bit. Sorry, <laughs> they're four-tick pulses, and the offs are made into two-tick pulses. And then we're, they're going to travel down our wire here. Once we get to our wire on the other end, we are going to have. Uh, we have this. Um, this was recently posted on Minecraft Inventions. I'm sure you've seen it. It's the uh, the the toggle thing. You know the um, the multi-option toggle. I think it's multiplexer of some sort, but I'm not entirely sure on the correct terminology there. So we have that, that goes through, and, uh, and this is this device right here will remove all the pulses that are um, that are shorter than four ticks, and so I, so like say this will start at one, is that eight right now, but it'll start at one, but no pulse will get through because there's a zero in the one slot. It'll go to two and a pulse will get through because there's a longer pulse coming through in the two slot. So that goes all to here, then, but those, those only come through as one tick pulses, so these are just um, pulse lengtheners that are designed to be space efficient. And uh, so I'll go through here, go into these arsenal latches right here, which I don't actually recommend using I, because they have um, they don't have isolated inputs and outputs and such, so it's kind of a pain in the ass to use if you want to make a memory system. And then finally, that goes to pistons right here, and then we have a reset button for the display. So for... Um, Practical uses of this, I guess, if you have, if you need, say you want to control, like, a, I don't know, say, say you're having a, a round of some game or spleef or something, so you, if you want to control a scoreboard from afar, you can do that fairly easily, or if you want to have, uh, if you want to, like, have some, an automatic scoring system, like, say you run, or in some game, say you hit a pressure plate and it sends out a certain amount of data through to the display board, and it's nice because you only need, um, you only need one wire to transmit all this data, which is a big resource saver. And uh, one more thing, I guess, if you wanted to, you could hook up a memory sim um, sorry, a memory system to this, and then you could uh, store more than just one byte of data at the front and the end. Or you could even hook up an ASCII encoder and decoder if you want to, if you want to make it easier to input and out and read the data. So uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. I like to encourage you to rate, upvote, subscribe, comment, whatever you do. It just take like half a second stuff. It means a lot to me, and I like to thank you for watching.